Hello. Good morning. So I thought that was beer and I chugged mine before breakfast. Turns out it's vodka. She doesn't even know what she had to be. I just drank it. So we start the morning turn, I guess. On a good night. On a good note. <laughs> For the buses. Pardon? How often do the buses come? Uh, they come around every 15 minutes actually. Okay, one came about two, three minutes ago, so. And I get the bus. And um, if it's a 15 minute walk to the um, aero car, how long is it by bus? So the bus, like two, three minutes. Okay. Saving the walk and doing the arrow car. Bus pulls up in a while, so I should go up there. Oh, Bruh. So, um, that's what we're doing next. <laughs> Oh my god. come from and who coerced you to come to Niagara? No one actually coerced me. <laughs> I self-invited myself. And how was it? It was good. So, Give us a star rating. Um, I'd say considering the limited time, it was a four. Would you buy this pass again? Um, probably, but I still have some unused stuff. 
that needs to be used for so for the discounted price and the activities offered do you recommend this pass what discounted price Hmm? What discounted price? You did not see the standard price before? It was like 60 something dollars. Oh, you I paid like know. 30 I just, something. I just, I just saw there were two prices and I asked you to help me pick one. So pick the one. bottom one showed you 30 something dollars, yeah. but it was a cross out of 60 something, oh, something, okay. something. Well, if, if it were the. Most... And then it showed you what each activity would cost. I didn't even check all that. Right. I asked you to help me pick one. You said the first one, I picked and it. You just and picked the it. first one, and, and that's, that's it. it. <laughs> oh boy. I'm in trouble. I'm gonna send you a Ponzi scheme and just tell you pick the first one. I'm gonna say pick the first one, and that's it. Never gonna focus on you. Yeah. So, um, what activities have we done? Have you done so far? Um. Um. Yeah, we did the uh, haunted house. We did the void. We did um, pretty much um, Niagara Falls, the high. I mean, a lot of walking. A lot of walking. <laughs> uh, and uh, what else did we do? We did, we did a lot of things. Then. We did the Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did that. We did the... So there was a Behind the Falls. Yes, we did that. Behind the Falls. I thought that it was going to be longer, like, more exciting and stuff. But then it was pretty dull. But if you have company, that's funny. Company people. like me. Let's just insert that part there. If you have company like me. Um... That. Oh, we did the other wheel. Yeah, we which, did the sky she wheel. So scared. She's not scared of rides, but she's scared of the side wheel, which doesn't really make sense. I'm scared of heights. I don't do falling. The rides are not on the ground. It's high up in the sky. Yeah. Not in the sky but so yeah. that's why just looking out at whatever is going to happen over here, I'm already terrified. I have that I want to pee feeling. <laughs> So we did that. We did the Frankenstein roller coaster. We did the haunted house. And no one is going to talk about what happened inside the haunted house. Oh, I have a video too. So <laughs> we were so scared that we brought the tour guide with us. We brought the person that was supposed to be guarding the door with us. What happens at the haunted house stays in the haunted house. Okay. And then what else have we done? That's it? Yeah, we tried to move, but. Yeah. That one a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> Differently. All in we all, tried. would you recommend Tina's adventure tours? Um, I'd say yes, but sometimes she's prone to mood swings. You have to be careful with that. Um. Minute. Wait. Wait a minute. How? Wait. First of all, you're not gonna speed past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. Otherwise, she's quite fun to be with. Elaborate on your prone to mood swings. Really? When we were at the restaurant, you didn't want to talk at all. You were on your phone throughout the whole brunch. And laughing at your phone, ignoring the person in front of you. So I get a one star? Um, no, no, no. We made my trip fun. We made my weekend fun because of the weather we could get home. So at the restaurant, we ordered food. I took forever to order, by the way, but they still came with like, it It was disappointing. For the price point, I'm like, there are so many, there are a million places I could have gone better. And I was disappointed the moment we were seated because we got the door right outside the, um, outside the kitchen. That's where like the bus people come out, come back with the carts. And then they like organize the carts right in front of us to bring to the kitchen and that was shitty and then we asked for a different seat and then we moved and my pancake came back undone and my hash browns was like small and i've dined at ihop at that location before so it was a big disappointment versus what i had now anushka was like you okay and after i'm like all right i'm good she's like no you're not and i'm like why do people always do this I say I'm okay, and you're gonna tell me you're not. Do you really want me not to be okay? okay? If you're gonna keep talking all the time, so then it's quiet, and you ask her if she's fine, and she's like, oh, yeah, she's fine. And then she looks at you with her big eyes. I said, I'm and fine, and then she goes, no, you're not. So, of course, I gave you the, the look. I'm like, does she actually want me not to be fine right now? Because we could go there. I was fine. I'm like, whatever. I already paid for it. Let me eat it and go. That's it. 
I wasn't gonna argue with them because then they already changed it and it came back and I was already ever since last night I um from the funnel cake my tummy was all topsy turvy and then I drank wine and then I had beer for breakfast so there was that and I'm like I already feel queasy about the food anyways and you guys I eat with my eyes guys I, I do and if the food doesn't look good that means it automatically doesn't taste good I want to pee now. Front door. It's a better view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a couple things before we leave the dock. You're going to feel a small bump, so hold on, please. Also, very important, I need everybody wearing their mask. It must be worn the entire trip, covering both your nose and your mouth at all times. And if you have little ones on the side, they must remain standing at all times. You cannot pick them up at any time on the sides, please. Good afternoon and welcome to the Whirlpool Aero Car. My name is Debbie. I'll be your hostess for this crossing. Looking to my right, you'll see the water flowing in. It's moving at 35 to 40 kilometers an hour. It's coming in from Lake Erie, over Niagara Falls, in through here, and then out into Lake Ontario. These rapids are a class six. There's no boating or whitewater rafting here. You may have seen one of the Whirlpool jet boats. This is their turnaround point before going back to Niagara on the lake, but this is as far as they come. They don't go into the rapids. 
we do travel between two Canadian points. To my right is the USA, so everything on the right is the US. Everything on my left is, and straight ahead, is Canada. So back to the state spot in Niagara Falls, New York. That is above the, uh, beyond that, you'll see the top of a concrete wall. That is the Robert Moses Generating Station in Lewiston, New York. Across from it on the Canadian side is the Sir Adam Beck Power Station. Also on a walking on it, and you'll see it goes quite far both ways. That pathway was a railroad, railroad track in the early 1900s, and trains went through there. They went uh, from Lewiston, New York, right through to Niagara Falls, New York. There's some beautiful hiking trails that you can take to get to the fishing for salmon, bass, and trout. If you look at the water right now, you'll see that it's swirling around in a counterclockwise direction. This time of day, the water level is high and it spins that way. In the late evening, the generating station will drop at about 20 feet and then it'll start spinning clockwise again. But for uh, safety purposes, everyone will just stay where they are. So while we're here for 20 seconds, if you look inside the cave there, you will see a small silver box. That is our rescue car. So normally, normally the aero car can hold up to 36 people, and it's traveling on six cables that you see above there. The rescue car travels on two of the six cables. It holds about five people and moves a fraction of the speed that we're moving on. So if we were on our way back and for some reason we lost power or the car stopped, we do have a, a backup generator that would bring us to the dock. If that failed, then we would use our rescue car. Fortunately, we've only ever used the rescue car for training purposes, which is a great track record. Thank this you. August, <laughs> August the 8th to be exact, was the first time the aero car went out. So it's been in operation for 104 years. It was designed by a Spanish engineer for the sole purpose of it doing what it's doing today as a attraction. If you look at pictures from when it first went out, the car itself is basically the same. It really hasn't changed much over the years. They've upgraded the mechanics four times, but the car itself, the basic design, is um, no, still the thank same you. as it was 104 years ago. Look at what? <laughs> For the rest of the crossing, I'll let you enjoy the scenery. If anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, enjoy. All right, when the car gets to the dock, you may feel another bump. When we stop, you're going to exit to the left and up the stairs. I ask that you please leave your masks on while exiting the car and that you stay where you are until I give you the go ahead so we can continue social distancing while exiting the car. At this time, I'd like to thank you for riding the Whirlpool Aero Car. Enjoy the rest of your stay here in Niagara Falls. Thank you.